sitting on clothes. Anyway, okay, so we're yeah. gonna do street photography, and these are the major things to consider. Okay, so let's go over here because this is actually an amazing spot to get dogs and people. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna tell you some stuff and then we're gonna like stealthily, separately go and capture stuff. Okay, so here's the deal. You pick the person or the dog from far away and you see that they're coming at you uh -huh. and you get ready, you get everything on your camera ready, iPhone, whatever you are using, fine, it doesn't matter, get it mm -hmm. all ready and then start thinking about capturing them on the way towards you. And I'm going to show you what I mean when somebody comes with a dog or a bike or something. Mm -hmm. In fact, okay, I'm going to try and get this guy. And then after that, I'm going to try and get that uh, stroller with the mother. Okay. So I'm going to earmark this guy and try to focus. Good. Now, the family is taking a little more time, <laughs> so I'm going to walk towards them. You can plan your shot, but you can't plan the tantrums. <laughs> <laughs> right? That is so true. <laughs> oh, and then another thing I do, if it's a dog or a kid, I'm going to get down low. And this, like, they just like walk right into the shot, which is so fun. Okay, so here we're going to get this kid. Mm -hmm. And he's just gonna come right at me. <laughs> oh, and here comes somebody else. And the bridge in the background, that's so cool. That is super cool. So see how you can use their motion they're not really noticing you. And oh, I gotta say this. The people to kind of earmark are the people that won't really notice you that much, like couples in love, families, they're too busy, they're not thinking yeah. about you. Um, <laughs> couples in love. <laughs> they're looking at each one. other. You know, I just got this shot yesterday where they're, they're walking with their coffee and then they just like look at each other with this love in their eyes and I love it because, you know, you can't script that. They just were like, oh. Boom, I got it. They didn't notice me at all. So, you know, like as you see these people coming, whether it's a dog, a couple, a family, a kid, like I just got, you you can prepare for it. And they either aren't gonna see you or they're gonna be okay with it. You just have to take that chance. That's the beauty of this. Mm -hmm. Awesome. You're gonna, you're gonna love it. Because <laughs> I saw it in a different way from yesterday, and it kind of blew my mind. So, well, so she had a, uh, I think it was between 10 and 18 millimeters lens. Okay. So the whole thing was just, oh man, it looked so beautiful. And, you know, it really made me see these trees in this new way. Because sometimes you look at trees without leaves on them, and you're like, yeah, but then... You see a perspective that you've never seen before. It's so cool. Yeah. You know, and that's what I saw. And in fact, the trees became more beautiful than the cityscape. Because, I mean, those are gorgeous compared to a man-made building, really. And it, that picture really made me think of that. Nice. Yeah. So when you're shooting people, there's two kinds where they know you're going to shoot them. And you have to talk them through it and make them forget. And then if you're photographing dogs, <laughs> you just have to take a lot of chances. But you'll get it. I'll show you how to do it one-on-one. -on -one. See you in San Francisco. The link is below.